What is doing? <laughs> what is it doing? Which AI is the more brilliant? Which AI can do something about those pictures? We're gonna find out. Hey everyone, my name is Alex and I want to study a little bit. I had some uh, difficulty to remove a little bit some skin imperfection and Photoshop and all. So I tried out Luminar, but is it really good or not? We're gonna do a trial from Luminar, Luminar AI and Portrait Pro because why not put someone else in there. So I have six pictures I'm gonna show you right away and we'll try to do something with them. So let's jump right in in uh, Luminar version 4. Now there's not really much any automation in Luminar 4 so let's try AI Enhance and that's Luminar 4 right? Okay it kind of went and removed a little bit of shadows, saturation, Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, that was a special event by the way, so that's why she's painted. <laughs> uh, there are some suggestions below here. I think I'm gonna try them. AI image enhancer. So it's basically putting a little bit more contrast. Yeah, it kind of raised the shadows and changed a little bit the colors by using a little bit of saturation. All right, we'll keep it there. And let's go to Luminar AI. So we have templates here and this is supposed to suggest amazing influencer suggestions. So let's go for influencer, um, artistic, amazing lifestyle look. So we have uh, Kazi Dan Event Tide. The image is pretty much colorful right from the battle. It's pretty hard for him to do anything else. Let's try all of them. Nighthawk, so it's black and white. Kazi. Eventide, Evening Glow. Well, this is really uh, doing something bad to the skin. So it's not even considering that the face is there. Yeah, it's kind of sending all saturation in the top. Light wash. Okay, let's try another template for this one. Monochrome. I don't like that interface here. It's like, how are you supposed to play with that so small blockbuster? <laughs> Film noir. Yeah, okay, a lot of grain. Not too bad. Beyond the wall. Oh, this really skins off uh, smooth skin everything. Teal and orange, a classic in Michael Bay's movies. <laughs> okay, let's go into portrait instead. Experimental. Okay, that kind of makes more sense to add flares or having a few different effects. And you can go into uh, settings after that and change all these effects. Even if it's a template, it's just a template and you can change around everything. Cold frames. Interesting. Feather light. It kind of added a little bit of mood into the picture. So let's go into Luminar AI right away. I'm gonna go into experimental portraits. And yeah, the result is actually pretty cool. It does add up some interesting effects to the picture. This is not a good picture and that's the point. I want Luminar to just do their magic or are they going to be able to do something with it? All the shadows are still there, don't worry about it. So Luminar 4 was actually discovered because it could replace skies and stuff like that. So we're gonna try that right here. AI image and enhancer, let's see what he's trying. Not too bad, I will probably go with more exposure here because it's still pale. It does see that it's actually a pale picture so that's actually not too bad. And let's go into landscape and enhancer. We can add some golden hour. <laughs> so it's just changing the uh, color of the picture more or less. AI sky replacement, sky selection. Let's go for blue sky. Not, not a good choice but it's pretty good. That's gonna be weird. Uh, not too bad. Good salvage that I guess. Is that the real galaxy? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, that could work. It was not the night but I remember it was at the end of the day. So yeah that's pretty much fast exit if you want to change skies. If you even if we zoom in not too bad. That does not really shows. Right there's a like 
small, small details that are not working, but that's fine. What about AI? Lumino AI. Let's go to the landscape. Uh, easy. <laughs> Let's go into the easy. So yeah, these are templates. So it's not really analyzing the picture and making the best decision. You actually have to choice yourself. I mean, I could edit it manually. Enhance AI and there's no one click button right you still have to choose a few things let's go into creative sky or augmented sky which one we're going to choose these are the same sky that are in luminor 4 yep definitely the same skies so let's go into augmented sky rainbow oh <laughs> so augmented sky add up a cloud fireworks <laughs> why not you could potentially save a lot of time but you do have to go in everything over here and figure out what is what. It seems that Portrait Pro cannot open raw Canon images. That's unfortunate. Unknown and raw. I'll do something. I'll do something. Okay, I can open JPEG, TIFFs and PNGs. Okay, so Portrait Pro really <laughs> tried to find the faces. <laughs> This is my skin imperfection test. The person didn't want to be identified, so that's fine. We're just gonna con concentrate ourselves in the part that I was having difficulties with, which is that part. And I wanted Luminar to remove all this like that. Can it be done? We'll see. AI skin enhancer. So this is with Luminar 4. Let's check it out. AI skin defects. <laughs> they call it defects? Okay. Removal. Yes, please. Go all the way just to... Uh, what is doing? <laughs> what is it doing? Shine removal. Yeah, okay, that's not working at all. But this is the old version. Okay, let's see what Luminar AI does. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go for the skin. Oh, here the options are different. So let's go for just doing the skin just to see what he's doing. Is it going to apply something? Okay, it's kind of smoothing out the skin. Shine removal. So let's go with skin defect removal. <laughs> oh boy, so they didn't do anything. Let's see the comparison. Luminar 4, Luminar AI. Pretty much the same thing. I don't think they changed anything in that section of the software. So now let's try Portrait Pro and it's opening a TIFF file. So that's gonna take a while. Well, not that far. There's a lot of options around eyes, sharpen, texture, non-face skin. Oh, for the rest of the picture. Okay, cool. So this is more like sculpting, thin wrinkle, imperfection. So let's try imperfections. And it doesn't explain what is an imperfection, but let's go full and I don't see any differences. <laughs> Remove pores. Okay, this is kind of working. Eesh. It has some difficulties with, with the colors here. And I think I'm pretty much at the limit of the software. So that's what I did in Photoshop really quickly. It's not a perfect edit, of course. So before, after, before, after. And you're, if you are far away, it doesn't show, so that's fine. But I'm not a pro retoucher, so that's why we can still see imperfections and the skin is not perfect. And I didn't re-add pores and all that stuff. That, a pro retoucher will do. So we can see that all those softwares still have a long way to go to identify the face and really correct like a pro retoucher will actually do. So let's go to the last picture, which is a picture that I took with my phone. There was a fire there, creative mode. And let's say I want to change the sky. And that's gonna be an interesting challenge because that's smoke coming from the bottom. And those are clouds, blue sky number one. <laughs> Kind of working, I guess. <laughs> Let's add a giraffe in there. Awesome. Let's now go to Luminar AI and do the same thing. Maybe we should add a little bit of fog. Oh, it's only adding the fog to the top of the picture and not a little bit below. Maybe this would work better in mountains and something. Although that it's like mountains, sort of. Thing AI that you can tell him to do automatically. That's cool. Enhance AI. You really have to actually go in the software and try out all the options. And disclosure, 
I'm not paid by them. I actually bought them just to try them out. You really have to use your software to make the investment worth it, of course, if you don't use it. So in conclusion, well, all those softwares actually is a step further, but it doesn't replace a pro retoucher. Maybe the sky replacement is kind of uh, on par, except if you have some things in, the, in front of it. For example, in this case, I had some smokes, so it doesn't know really what to do with it. But for the rest, the sky replacement can actually uh, save you maybe a lot of time. And I would suggest that if you try it or you buy it, well, go into all the options and actually try them out one by one to actually see what they do and what they can bring to you. And speaking of Lightroom Classic, I might do a video on it in the near future. So subscribe for more and hit that bell icon to get notified on the next video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was a little bit instructive. See you in the next video. We're going to do the battle of the Fale de Tour. Wait, what?